Like all races, the Libyan race will be saved by its exceptional men. Education and work are the levers to uplift our people. But work must be guided by intelligence. And education must teach life. The new Negro must be tutored in thought and culture. We shall continue our discussion next week. And remember, my brothers, no man who continues to add to the material, intellectual, and moral well-being of the place in which he lives is left long without proper reward. Mr. Mann. Say hello to Arnold Rothstein. An honor to have finally made your acquaintance. Please. Mr. Madden tells me you're interested in heroin. As a commodity, yes. This is a business with which you are familiar? One of many. Biggest fish in Harlem. However, I do intend to expand to other Libyan markets. Libyan? What he calls the colors. You are a dependable and amply stocked supplier? One who requires the utmost discretion. He's got my vouch, like I told you. 20 pounds, uncut. I will weigh it myself to ensure good measure. 80,000 in cash. Large bills only. Why would you expect otherwise? My understanding, you control the local numbers racket. Therefore, I transact my business like a schoolboy, dealing in pennies, nickels, and dimes. It's not my intention to offend you. Nonetheless, you succeeded despite yourself. <laughs> to whom do I dispatch payment? My associate, Mr. Diamond, will be in touch. I have other business with Mr. Madden. Gentlemen.